Okay, today I'm working on a 2011 Mini Cooper. And the job today is replacing rotors and pads on all four corners. So let's get started. Okay, 17 mil for the lug nuts. Okay, here we are, back of the calipers. We're gonna take off these two bolts here, 13 millimeter. And we're gonna have to hold this. I don't have a narrow enough wrench to fit in there, so I gotta get my needle in those vice grips. Gotta hold this, the whole thing will spin without grabbing this inside nut. So that's these two. And we'll kind of compress the piston a little bit by tweaking it. And then it should come out. Once you get the caliper off, we are going to hang it to the side there, out of the way. The old pads out. Okay, the next step is to take the caliber bracket off. We've got uh, two 16 millimeter bolts. Torx bit faster here to hold the rotor in place. We're going to take that off. Okay, here we go. And there we are. So now we're going to clean this up a little bit, this surface, before we put a new rotor on there. So let's do that. Alright, now I'm going to take a brown cookie disc and clean up this hub surface here, get it nice and clean. nice all right so I went to rockauto.com we got the premium kit of rotors and pads there's part number nice kit rotors are coated to prevent rust very nice All right, so now I'm going to direct my attention to these brackets, caliper brackets. Take this hardware off. Got new hardware with this kit. And I'm going to make sure these sliders nice and smooth. No binding, everything looks good there. And in the northeast, because we got a lot of rust and corrosion, I'm just going to clean up behind these new hardwares that I'm going to put in place. So we're just going to clean up these areas here.
All right, so I'm just going to take a file here and just kind of clean up these areas. These aren't too bad, but the corrosion builds up behind these brackets, this hardware. And then the pad doesn't slide freely in there. It could bind up and create problems. There we go. Just uh, just clean up this area here. So when I put the hardware in, the pad's not going to bind up. Okay, another thing I want to do on this caliper is just clean up this pistons, the lip here of this piston, get it nice and clean. Also going to clean up a little bit of these ears here. Okay, now I'm going to press this piston in. I checked to make sure the master cylinder wasn't topped off and isn't full. So it won't be bleeding, spilling out. I don't know if you can see that there. Before we place our nice rotor on there. Fasten it on with our Torx screw. Okay, now we're going to put the hardware on the brackets, and before I do that, I'm just going to put a little bit of brake lubricant in this area that I cleaned off, behind the hardware, just to stop the corrosion from behind the brackets so they don't push up and tighten the pads and get them binding up. So, you know, don't go crazy. Just a little bit. And the hardware snap in place like that. figure out how this goes on. Here we go. Okay, 
All right, now we'll put these pads in here. Make sure they're not binding up in any way. And slide back and forth nice and loose, or freely rather. And so that's how the bracket looks assembled. Now we'll go put this on the car. All right, before I put these brackets on, I'm gonna put a little bit of a thread locker on both of these bolts. Make sure they stay in place. A little bit like that. Put the bracket in place. And also, I like to try to eliminate any kind of squeaking. A lot of brake squeaking is actually vibration. So anywhere there's metal to metal contact, put a little bit of this brake lubrication on there. A lot of times this will just absorb any of the vibration that might happen when you're almost to a stop and you've got light pedal pressure. on his ears and just a little just like that should be all I need caliper back on make sure the cable the uh, hose is not twisted up And this is a nice brake kit, came with hardware and these bolts that already have thread lock on them. So we get them started. back and forth nice and freely. And there we are. Just going to clean up the center part of the the wheel here that's made it to our nice clean rotor.
quick little spurt. So it doesn't get stuck on to the hub. Okay, and that side is done. We're going to do the same thing over the other side. Okay, first step is take off the caliper, which are these two, with the 13 millimeter bolts. And again, we have to grab a hold of the inside one so the whole assembly doesn't spin. Make sure your emergency brake is off. This one also has a sensor on it, which we're going to be replacing. was kind of wedged in there. This one looks like it wore through Which is why we had a brake light on. So here's the caliper. Can you see where these brackets are, these bolts are? The 
There's one right in there. And the other is right through here. Sixteen mil. Also, I guess it's just front wheel drive. There's no drive back here. Another Torx bit. Okay, now before I go compressing the rear brake calipers, I want to check the brake fluid here, and it seems to be filled to the very top, so if I compress those pistons, it's going to push fluid back in here, and it's going to spill over everywhere. So i got to suck some fluid out of here. And then we'll just top it off at the end of the job. It should be enough to make some room. And then we'll keep our eye on that as we compress the pistons. Okay, so here we are at the rear brake caliper, and unlike the fronts, this has a, an emergency brake built in, so you can't just push the piston in. It has to be pushed in and turned simultaneously, which is difficult if you don't have the right tools. So, I happen to have the right tool here, and we're going to show you how this works in action. We've got this plate backed up against... the ears of the caliper pushing in with a constant steady push and then I'm going to screw this center bolt in and you can see it turns the piston as it pushes in at the same time it's still kind of tough and you gotta fight it a little bit It isn't easy, but it does get the job done. You can see it's going in. And 
little by little. Out here, I think that should work. That should be far enough. So that's the fight with compressing those pistons. All right, so here we are on the rear caliper brackets and we're going to do the same thing and make sure these are flowing freely and I mean you can see here, can you see you can see how those pads are stuck I had to kind of pound them out and you can see all the rust and corrosion in these channels that are behind the hardware it's pushing the hardware against the pads and making them bind up so, this is why I'm going to kind of file these clean. You see, these are a lot cleaner as opposed to those which are very rusty so we'll just work them a little bit trying to get them clean The back channel. Some pretty rough shape. Right in here. I'm gonna keep working at it. You know what? Let me throw that in my sandblaster real quick. Here's the before. I'll shoot it in the sandblaster for 10 seconds and see what happens. All right, here we are. It was a lot easier. I mean, usually filing them is easy enough, but if they're too stubborn, you know, sandblast cabinet, if you have one, is beautiful. All right. Okay, and this is what helps slow down that corrosion from happening in the first place. It's right in those two channels. Behind the hardware. Okay, and now the hardware. Like that. And like that.
All right, so here we are, rear pads. This is the back one with the sensor going in it. Goes in here. This will be the outside one without the sensor. Goes here. Everything free. And there we go. Okay, rotors go on next. Okay, and then the bracket. Bottom one. Uh, Fork down. All right, I'm going to plug the sensor in here. It's a little tough to get in. But there it is. Again, I'm going to put a little lubrication on the face of the piston and on the back of these ears. Slide that camper in place. Rears didn't come with new hardware, but we will put some new Loctite on them. Hold. Okay. 
nice and loose. Looks good. Get the inside of the rim. All right, so here we are back on the ground. Four new rotors, all new pads. Everything looks really nice. I'm going to take it out for a little drive now to bed the brakes in a little bit and we can call this job done. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.